Hey guys, I'm Dr. Tanya Jain and I have very recently begun as a first year PG resident in radiology. So INICT is exactly one week away and uh, the biggest question is how to approach this paper in the last few days to the exam and you can definitely do a lot of things to build upon your existing preparation to seriously target this exam next Sunday. Now NEET PG is uh, very very vast, it can ask you a lot of things but on the other hand INICT uh, likes to ask its you know peculiar uh, niche topics every year, they try to ask different things about the same topics so it's actually easier to prepare for INICT and even if you haven't done that so far uh, you should have faith in your uh, basic preparation that you've done for NEET PG and you can just add a few things or tweak it a little bit in this last week so that you can target INICT uh, in a more serious way. So the best strategy now uh, with the exam just being a week away would be to see the previous year topics mm -hmm. and when I say previous year I mean the last three years and a minimum of uh, six papers so the last three INICTs and the last three AIMS papers for sure. You can do one PGI paper for uh, practice if you need uh, because you know PGI other institutes will also contribute to the questions it won't be just AIMS and uh, PGI papers are typically a little they take a little longer to solve so you can restrict yourself to maybe doing the last PGI paper uh, but definitely you have to do three years of whether INICT or AIMS papers. And the way to do them is that you don't have to specifically focus on a particular question. You have to understand that they have asked this topic. Suppose they have asked about uh, mucormycosis, which they love to ask. Uh, even before it was, you know, it came with the pandemic, they had been asking about mucormycosis every uh, paper, every six months. So it's important to pick up these topics and uh, just read about them and see that, okay, they're asking A, B, C, D, a lot of things about that particular topic. So questions won't be repeated but um, these common things will come again and again so you can definitely uh, target this. And uh, for your very last day, uh, I feel uh, doing your volatile topics, like I always try to revise uh, the things that I find difficult, but have a very, very high yield uh, to come in the paper. For example, micro. Now micro, uh, the cycles, they love to ask cycles in INICT, so your parasito cycles and uh, you know, your various eggs, etc. Traditionally, they used to ask only CDC uh, life cycles, but now they can also ask uh, you know in a different way because they know everybody does CDC cycles so dusre way mein bhi cycles aa sakte so it's important to know them and uh, you can you can revise any other weak part of uh, micro i feel because wo ekdam se us time ke liye short term period memory mein apni hum dal lenge so it will be easier to answer next in the paper again anad dissection specimens i always did one day before uh, to just uh, you know go through them once because they are very very frequently asked in INICT Another thing is the list of IPC sections. You have done it before, it takes a lot of time. Lagta hai. Bas last mein just revise it once from A to Z and you're good. Similarly, milestones, again, very high yield topic. Uh, path translocations are another one, so jitne bhi lymphomas, your follicular burkits, etc. Just go, if you go through them once, you know, along with your blood transfusion complications and all, it will take a very less time, but they are definite questions in the exam. Uh, and also some uh, common things that they keep on asking again and again, uh, that is cannulas. Uh, now, uh, also try to predict questions when you're doing, uh, you know, the previous year questions in the last uh, few days, like uh, they were all, always asking cannulas color codes right but uh, I felt that in the last November that they have asked Canada color codes for a very long time they can now ask their flow rate and I had done the flow rate and it did come in the exam so these types of things happen so you can focus a little on cannulas and instruments on the last day and uh, lastly if you're weak with formulas you know uh, your pharma or physio formulas uh, because INICT loves to ask simple questions uh, that are formula based so they will be easy to you know mathematically do but uh, if you know the basic concept these questions will be very very simple. So this used to be my last day strategy for uh, INICT and for NEET as well but uh, specifically for INICT. Uh, again this is not a comprehensive list at all uh, this is just a few things that I used to definitely revise one day before the exam. If you have a 
you know particularly weak subject that is volatile as well for you and you know uh, it is very memory based and you know it's going to be asked in your exam because it has featured so many times in the previous year papers that would be the topic you should go through in the last day and it's also good idea to go through images like uh, histopath images or you know revise your path images micro images because again images are very heavily featured in your exam please please don't miss out on this golden opportunity it is an opportunity to study in the finest institutes of the country and yeah, this exam is the gateway to that and whenever any exams or opportunities you know they present you have to grab them with both hands you know last november after the neat pg's counseling was you know it was scheduled and uh, the results were out a lot of people did not give the uh, november nict for 21 and they really missed out uh, because uh, you know they had already prepared so much the entire year and it was they just didn't want to give another exam and hence they missed out on this opportunity so don't do that uh, even if you're just preparing for neat pg this exam is going to be a great practice run uh, you will understand what to do in the last few days and you know depending on how your nict actually goes you can tweak your last minute preparation for your neat pg so uh, even if uh, you're not very very enthusiastic about it you can give it like uh, just like a gt but uh, even if it's a gt at home or any exam you should always give exams uh, with the best of spirits kabhi koi exam half heartedly nahi dena hota you never know how uh, a paper turns out so definitely give this exam is the uh, basic final note and give it with uh, your whole heart so i hope uh, this helped you out and this was just a short video to uh, remind you that it's one week to nict and you should go all in uh, for this paper best case scenario you get a seat in one of the best institutes of the country and uh, you know even if you get a decentish rank uh, it will be a great boost uh, for the last 20, uh, you know 10 15 days you will have left before your neat pg exam post nict so all the very best for this year's first exam that you're going to give nict